Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to this new video. This is Mr. Cluster 87. Today it's November 18th, 2015. In this video guys, I want to talk about forging. How to forge um, a block. So basically, how to secure the network over NXT platform. So, a uh, basic thing, it's um, for all of you crypto guys that actually come from Bitcoin, for example. So, the main difference between uh, forging and mining. Basically, these are the same concept. The point over Bitcoin, it's that um, it's based of over proof of work system so in order to let's say validate transaction over this wonderful decentralized platform network you need miners so basically miners are uh, el uh, electrical equipment that are uh, based their only function is this to calculate these hashes in order to validate transactions so um, the crucial point over this kind of solution, the proof of work solution, is that the more power uh, you have, um, the bigger the chances you have to get uh, the, the rewards that are Bitcoins. So you basically mine new Bitcoins uh, into the system. And this is programmed until the 21 million bitcoins it's reached. Uh, the same exactly function, it's made over the NXT uh, network platform. Uh, and it, this function of validating transaction, it's called forging. So basically all the tokens uh, over the the NXT platform, the one billion tokens are already in existence, so they don't have to be, let's say, mined. But uh, these tokens just circulate within the platform. Now, um, what I really like about this uh, forging mechanism, which it's basically called proof of stake, is that. Uh, you don't require to have really expensive machines in order to verify transaction. You can basically do these uh, tasks even with a mobile phone. So a really really simple chip that doesn't waste a lot of computational power first and electricity power secondly. What you are required over a proof of stake network is the number of tokens. So, uh, just to have a parallel, the more token you have over the NXT platform, the more chances you have in order to validate transaction and therefore uh, collect the fees within blocks. So guys, after this introduction, basically, um, I would like to explain for those of you that are not technical as I am, basically, um, what does this mean? So I will have over um, Open Sancore, which is a really, really nice tool over Linux. So basically, uh, for those of you who don't, un who haven't the chance to uh, see Bitcoin in action, basically. <clears throat> Uh, it is a Bitcoin it's a platform as well and NXT is a platform as well the cool thing about NXT is that within the client as a core feature you can make different kind of, of transaction what I mean by that is basically this Uh, you can create an asset and after that you can uh, trade that asset. You can create a new uh, coin inside the NXT platform. You can vote 
you can sell goods, you can uh, send messages, you can create aliases. So all this operation are core based in the client and in order to perform those transactions you need the NXT token. So uh, just get back over here. Basically uh, we understood that we can perform many uh, transactions, different kind of transactions. So um, right now over the NXT platform there is a maximum number of transactions so let's say this is a transaction this is a transaction this is a transaction there is a maximum number of transaction that um, for now it's 255 transactions these transactions are collected basically um, after one minute, okay, one minute. So basically, after one minute, uh, everything that happened, it's let's say frozen, okay. And this box over here, it's called block. Block. Okay, um, so what, it's, what is uh, needed over a decentralized platform, basically, it's uh, someone that basically confirms that all the transactions that occurred over that minute are legit. This over here, it's a block, uh, it's a lock, basically, that says that each transaction over here was legit. This process is decentralized and this process is made by um, let's say a person or an individual that it's called in the NXT uh, platform Forger. Sure. So basically a validator that says okay everything that it's written over here is legit and therefore uh, this block over here it's broadcasted uh, to the network so this is a decentralized platform so basically uh, if a transaction is confirmed over here then it is transmitted to other networks to other nodes, sorry, that are part of this network. And every time a node received this transaction and says, okay, th uh, this process is, it's a validation, okay? So over the NXT platform, um, you can say that a transaction is valid after 10 validations. Validations, okay, and the the maximum number of uh, blocks over um, over one single day, it's one thousand four hundred and four hundred um, blocks. Blocks. per day per ah, day <coughs> sorry guys so um, so let's look into um, let's look into the the wiki in order to do that let's head over the the quote mark the quotation mark and let's head over NXT wiki and let's head over uh, under the hood. So basically we uh, learned what transactions are, 
uh, you can read what it is needed in order to uh, made a transaction so basically sending money creating aliases transmitting a message issuing an assets and so on um, how it how block it is generated and finally the forging process so basically exactly forging this versus mining uh, here it's described the forging algorithm to make long things sure, short basically you have uh, um, a value that that is called target value um, basically uh, the heat value needs to be uh, lower than a base target times effective balance times time since last block uh, okay so this is it in order to see the all the transactions or all of the blocks basically you can do it within the NXT client how head over this wheel over here and select blocks so over here you do have a block explorer um, every time a block it is generated um, you reach a new high so for example now, right now we are at high uh, 571,492 you can see um, the amount of NXT that it is uh, let's say moved over that block so that number of transaction you can see the fee that it is uh, related to that uh, block and how many transactions are stored in that over that block um, I recently uh, saw that finally I forged a block so basically I validated a block to be specific at the high 542,040 uh, when on uh, November the 10th 2015 unfortunately for me <laughs> the the fee that I collected was only 2 NXT but still and uh, the amount of the over that block was uh, zero because as we can see the transaction that I validated in over that block were basically two and we can see the type so there was an, an arbitrary message and a bid order that was placed so uh, I want to stress this guys so uh, these were the the accounts let's say so uh, there was a sender and a receiver in this case of a message and in this case of a bait uh, so basically I don't know this guys but I had the, the chance to validate the transaction that these guys made so um, this is it for the blocks and the point over here guys is that uh, in order to validate transaction you need an economic incentives where um, over the Bitcoin it's provided by the uh, new Bitcoin that came into existence over the NXT platform with where all the tokens are already in existence the only way in order to incentivize and um, people to forge so to validate transaction it's with, it's with uh, transaction fees which are this one so basically guys uh, there is a pool going on um, where, which is asking basically whether 
to uh, to stay with the actual basic fees or to increase the basic fees so um, since my background is economics let's take to the facts so I'm heading over uh, annex uh, coin market cap dot com so uh, let's head over the whole cryptocurrencies okay so the first one is of course Bitcoin and we can find NXT between the the 11th and the top 10 position so uh, let's head over NXT again okay here we go so um, let's have a look over the price uh, of NXT uh, in terms of Bitcoin as we can see so basically we can uh, see that from uh, July June the 2nd 2014 up to now the value of one single NXT token has plunged to be specific from 11,200 satoshis to 1,800 so um, let's stress this guys over this time period basically uh, the fees were fixed so uh, over the NXT uh, platform there are no uh, variable fees they are fixed and they are different uh, any they over different kinds of transaction for, for example in order to send NXT tokens between us between the, the, the members you pay one NXT as a base load fee in order to create assets you can start from 1000 and it depends on the number of um, of the letters so the the most expensive it's an asset with only three characters the less expensive uh, asset it's for five letters uh, characters so the the thing is now guys is that uh, in order to make uh, to incentivize people to secure the network we need incentives so uh, basically we can see that uh, transaction fees in Bitcoin terms had had become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and in order to don't discourage forgers um, we actually need to higher this fees um, and that's it because every single token it's already on existence so uh, I can head over the uh, the voting system mechanism in order to show you the current uh, polls active polls so basically the official poll is this one base NXT transaction fee uh, which it's going to expire in uh, 3,000 blocks and was made by this account which says okay this is the the, the number that you can check in order to see this poll and the poll says ask this basically this is the first poll in a series of polls intended to determine the base transaction fee to take effect in NRS 1.7 I want to stress that not currently we are at 1.6.2 version see the announcement and discussion over the NXT forum okay the cost per 
32 bytes and base transaction fee should be and you can choose between 1 NXT or lower 2 NXT or higher so uh, this is it guys so I hope you find this inf video uh, informative uh, like this video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and you share you can share it in order to uh, know let others know how things works over the NXT platform this is it from Mr. Cluster 87 say ya bye bye guys